，你要不要嘛？呃，多少？十块钱。十块钱啊。呃、uh, ，seen on TV, the amazing。十块钱。Slicer, slicer and dicer. It's like it's Korean. <laughs> This guy's standing over, over here, on、uh, the side of the road. He's got it all over his face, all over his skin. Hey, there you go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But、uh, okay. No, no, no. Okay, ma. Wu、uh, Kui. Need a job? Now they couldn't pay me enough to go up there and clean those windows. Nothing but a、uh, rope and harness to keep me on the building. I wonder what their.、Uh, Insurance is like and hazard pay. Do they get a bonus?、Um, tough to say, but、Now、this might be one of the strangest things I've seen in a while. An actual snake oil salesman. You see him applying it to a construction worker. Actual snake oil. Unbelievable. And for a moment there, I thought I was in the wild, wild west. <laughs> 软要吃，相当影响这个胃，叫做三分吃嘛，七分养嘛。你懂得养生保健，也要注意饮食的话，一辈子不会有胃痛。吃好了，真的哦，不是吹牛的。如果你有风湿痛、关节痛、肩椎颈椎痛的，擦擦去五分钟就过痛。The whole time I'm commenting on things being sold and. Sucking jivesters, selling stuff like snake oil charm salesman, but this is an actual snake oil charm salesman. We've all heard of KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, but I've never heard of CFU until now. Chicken FU, that's、uh, the motto of this place.、Um, well, one way to voice your opinion is to do it in a different language. I think we get the point here. With this chap's jacket, you would think in a country with so much cheap labor that they'd be able to squeeze the oranges manually and not have this machine, which will squeeze, squeeze the oranges, which in China mostly are green. And、uh, you get a cup of freshly squeezed juice for 10 RMB, and it comes out to shoot. So I wonder how much it costs to keep the machine up and running, and the costs of basically、uh, producing and maintaining the machine versus having an army full of、uh, slack-jawed idiots squeeze the oranges for you. That would be a wonderful case study、um, that、um, a Chinese grad student could do. No need to get out; just do it on the go. Hey, that little schoolgirl there is going to get nailed. Oh man, they almost got her. Well, I guess they don't really care. <laughs> She better hurry up and stop eating that corn. Oh no, they're coming my way. I better hurry up and get out of here because these guys take no prisoners. Wait, Shima. Wait, Shima. Back at it again. This time with a smaller top. Spinning the top with a whip. And this guy here is a—he might be police, but I wonder if it's more difficult to spin the big, heavy ones or the small, light ones. I'll have to give it a try. Uh, it's a wild, wild west of China, where you'll find a lot of odd things, including rooster for sale, roosters for sale, monkeys for sale, and birds of prey for sale. I even saw some snakes for sale. I'm not sure what it all means, but my point is, you can buy almost anything in China. Everything has a price, and the availability is、uh, sometimes scary. That's right, giant turtles for sale in the streets.、Um, Chinese eat turtles, and they also have them as pets. But this one here is a little bit different. I'm not sure which type of turtle it is, but it's for sale. 
and uh, there'll be many more like these in the supermarket. Oh, there he goes. Supermarkets will have small ones to cook up, and this one here has had enough. More monkeys in the streets than you can shake a fist at. Hey, there's three right there. Well, uh, I guess I'm not really sure why he's selling these, but these are basically just the heads of what looks like wolf or some kind of critter. But anyway, you can buy the teeth, wear them as a necklace. Jan Mart, heard to Walmart and even uh, Walmart, but a copy called Jan Mart. Even the colors are the same. And another page out of the weird and curious. Uh, this school here uh, on this side street in rural Hobe, they advertise uh, dressing up and having your daughter perform like a Trixie. A la John Bonet Ramsey, right? I'm not sure if having uh, your young daughter become like a geisha is a thing of high price, but uh, this school here, they advertise it. This is a type of social problems that I was talking about. You got a kid here, not a toddler, but close in the lobby of this hotel um, playing with the sign people walking by and there's nobody around there's no parents or anything I mean this is a hotel right so any stranger could just walk in and snatch that kid or whatever and then there goes the kid outside gone and uh, no parents whatsoever around that's China you know you've got <laughs> terrible parenting uh, everywhere you go it's like uh, I'm just baffled that there aren't more kidnappings and things like that um, throughout this country. I mean, there's nobody here at the desk either. Anybody can jump behind there and get in the drawer and take out money. I mean, there's just like nobody home. And there's no sense of responsibility either. It's amazing. Question, what's the cheapest hotel in China? It's KFC or McDonald's. 24 hours, plenty of places to sleep. And uh, you get the picture. This guy's going to be the first one to get the iPhone 6. He's determined and he's willing to sleep there all night every night. Look familiar? Well, this movie hall is patterned after some of the buildings on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. Notice the uh, white pillars and the pseudo marble uh, accents. It gets stranger, trust me. Um, you'll have like replicas of the Eiffel Tower. You'll have replicas of, of things in Venice. You'll have fountains that don't squirt any water. But you know, some things China shouldn't copy and follow from the West. And you're looking at one of them. Huge, mega, digital signage, billboard, screen right at a major intersection and it's got what? Microsoft Windows blue screen of death. China, maybe you should think about uh, developing your own digital signage platform because this looks bad. Chinese company GoGo digital signage and we see a blue screen of death. What are they using for their operating system? You guessed it, Microsoft Windows XP. Maybe you should have rethunk that. Well, if they get the uh, signage right here, <laughs> you know, we could find out exactly what time the train goes and the numbers, but, oh, there they go, there they go. They finally kickstarted it, but once in a while you'll see some very strange stuff up here. Um, you'll even see some personal information, personal files displayed on the digital signage through the computers because um, they're using the uh, signage computers at the railway stations for their own personal web surfing and things like that so big security hole by the way hint 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 problem with the ticket reservation system for the high-speed rail in China 
No surprise. Yes, they are using Microsoft XP as part of their platform solution. Um, on the server end, haven't had a chance, obviously, to poke around in there, but uh, you can be sure they've had their share of blue screens of death, and uh, the application itself probably isn't written um, to the highest specifications, if you know what I mean. Yes, my friends, it would be very, very easy uh, during cyber warfare with China to crash their entire railway network, electricity grid, and other type of military installations. Um, from everything I've discovered and everybody that I've talked to, some of them in the military, um, it's not good. It's uh, not good. The West is laughable, but uh, China is not good when it comes to that. So, don't know about Russia, but hey, uh, that's the situation here. Tell you what, talk about live, work, eat, and sleep in the same uh, cart. This guy's got it right. He's reading a book now. He's going to have lunch next. He's, uh, he's basically in the street. <laughs> and uh, he, he also works out of this thing, too. So, this little trike here is uh, his home his uh, workplace, and his own uh, meal table. So what are these things? These are dividers on the street. Uh, they put holes in the center of the road, and uh, you can see that uh, they put up these uh, little fences. Now, why do they have dividers installed in the streets? Well, it's because Chinese are terrible drivers, and that's a fact. <laughs> People can't stay in their own lane, and they're always cutting, and they're always uh, getting pedestrians in trouble because they either drive too fast or they won't uh, stay between the lines. So you have bad drivers, and as anybody who's been in Asia knows, uh, what you do is you train them. You train them by keeping them in their lane. Hey, it's Balloon Man. Honk, 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 honk. How you doing, bottle nose? Winter jacket and shorts with sandals. I tell you, uh, Chinese are beginning to look more and more like uh, American frat boys. Gentlemen, would you be caught dead wearing a shirt like this? I know I wouldn't. They wouldn't have my size to begin with, but this is kind of the crazy fashion of uh, China and Asia in general. And um, you'll definitely see it in the clothing, in the shoes for sure, and um, accessories and jewelry and hairstyles. Um, it's really quite bizarre. My point also illustrated here. I'm not really sure if Chinese males are trying to look like Chinese pimps or if this is some kind of status symbol, but it looks terrible. And that's really unpleasant right there. Uh, outside the bank, and the mother is uh, allowing the toddler to urinate on the steps. This, again, is one of those cultural differences that uh, Westerners can't quite possibly uh, get used to. But ICBC Bank, rule of Hubei, and uh, urination and defecation on the steps. Wow. This is just too humorous to pass up. Now usually there's a no spitting, no loitering, and no begging sign, but not on this rail. Um, no swinging or climbing is funny. Do they think that uh, there's gonna be monkeys on the train or human beings? Now the no spitting is important because Chinese like to throw saliva like no other. 